Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I have got the D-Link Cloud Router Router um, AC1200. So this is a DRR850L. Um, these are quite old now. I think it's 2014. But I bought it for £15. I think it's used off of eBay. Now this is for my home network for my room. So um, if you want to see more of my home network, I've got a video on that coming out soon. But basically, I've got some tender gigabit power line ducts which I unboxed yesterday. I've got this today. This video will come out a couple of videos after. But I can't show you the top because that's where the shipping label is. But there's like two apps, remote access, which is to control your network. There's a bunch of apps for these. There's a media sharing one. So I can plug a external drive into it, films on, and like access them off from my phone and stuff. You can do that with normal routers anyway, but you don't have a special phone app for it. And there's also a My D-Link app. Where there's all different apps. There's newer apps as well because it's quite old so i've just downloaded a bunch and we'll see what ones work but yeah you see that's all the stuff on the back now but let's get into it it's just been taped up so that's how you can tell it's been used because the seal has been broken let's get into it then come on oh what knobheads they've taped it over the top as well way to make it easier to open it Cheers mate, it's difficult with scissors, I'll just like wreck the box. In the piece, just open! Stop making it difficult for me! Urgh. Hey! Oh, it lifts out the top, it's like an apple box, it's just not as nice. Oh wow, it's still all wrapped up and stuff, this looks pretty good for a used room. Maybe it's not used actually. Um, oh, there's all the, maybe it's not used, I don't know. It never said it was, but it never said it wasn't either. Yes, yeah, so it comes with, it's already configured for Wi Fi. So it's already got like a Wi Fi card in it, which I'll keep. 5 gigahertz and the 2.4 gigahertz separate. I might combine them, might leave them separate. Don't know. It's got a space to put your own on there, so you never know. Might use that and might not. So just have a look at the quick installation guide. Right, so yeah, basically, I'm not using this as a router, I'm just going to use it as like a Wi-Fi standard kind of and like a gigabit switch. Let's get into it. Damn. So let's peel this off. Yeah, I don't think, I don't see how this can be used. Look at the oh mate. I don't know, unless these have just been sitting brand new in a warehouse for years. Because they don't make these anymore. I really like the design. Glossy it is. So here it is. Oh, it's the melt buttons, they're just lights. It looks really nice actually. They're gigabit ports on the back. USB. Nice. What else is in here? Just the power dot power adapter, no ethernet cable, at least it looks like there's no ethernet cable. Let's just undo this now. There's an ethernet cable in there, I just have to like slide the box. So it's a blue one, don't know if I'll be using that, I'm just going to keep it wrapped up for now because it doesn't have the jacket on the thing, so I don't know. But I mean, it doesn't really matter, is it like, you know. So let's get it set up. As I mentioned, I won't be using that ethernet cable. But... So this one goes to my PC, this one goes to my Xbox, which goes like all around the there. And this one, um, well, this is one that I just ran ready for this. So let's unplug the PC. Plug this one in. That's why I'm not using the one it come with because I had this one ready. And this one will go into it, but let's plug in the power for it. And now I'm going to run this cable round. First, plug in the one port. And I'll do the web base set just because it'll be easier. Um, let's get that plugged in. Oh, mate. Yeah. And I'll plug in the power. And it's ready. Already. So this is its place where it's going to go. I mean, I might move it, I don't know. But I think it looks alright there now. Let's turn it around again. I'll put the PC from it in at the top. Right. And it does. And now let's see what comes up on here. 
No internet. Oh, I done fine. That's lit up. So I'm on my PC now, and it looks like the internet's working fine. Let's do a speed test. Go on, let's have a look. How quick are you? Yep. So pretty much the same as usual. Now let's go to the router configuration page. Page. This. Uh, yep. Story drive. Yep. Yeah, next. Detect an internet connection. This is plugged into another router, so this is not working as a router, it's working as an Ethernet switch and an access point. So that's how I want it set up. Yes. Um, do you know what? I will have them separate, just so I know what's connecting to what. Aim for 2.4 GHz, set for put 2.4. I know a lot of them just have the 5 GHz one separate and then have this just come up without 2.4, but I just like to know. I have the same password for both, but I won't tell you what that is. I'm going to have that set as the same as the main one. Device admin password. I don't think there is. Oh, it wants me to set one up, doesn't it? D no, I need to create one. Email address. Oh, hey, yeah, it's registered. Dynamic IP, yeah. Changes have been saved. Let's go. Oh, I just got an email on my phone saying to activate my account, so let's do that. Yes, that was easy. Connected. Connect. Connected clients to oh, Xbox and um, PC, so you can like turn Wi-Fi off on certain things and that sort of stuff. Share port, that's the thing. Yeah, enable DNA media server. Win mm, allow. I don't know. I don't know. Depends. Web file access. Oh, so you can like. Does that mean you have to? Do you have to be connected to your network to use that, or can you access it from somewhere else? Advanced. Wait, website filter. Wow. Oh, that's pretty cool. You can just like add certain like parental controls and stuff. I'm not going to do that since it's only going to be my stuff on this. But let's connect to it on my phone actually. So this is what it looks like now on my phone's Wi-Fi. So the 2.4 GHz comes up first, then 5 GHz. Let's connect to that. Let's go to speed test. Go on. Hey. Let's go. Cool. Good, go on, go hit, hit, hit 30. I never hit 30 when I'm in here. Go on, hit 30, hit 30. Oh, well, it didn't. Oh, well. Yeah, this is literally like the same as usual. But now that I've connected my phone, two devices come now. One of these is my phone, and one of them is my Apple Watch. Now, my Apple Watch usually comes up, my phone doesn't. That's normal. I'll have to find out which ones these are, but I'm quite happy with this so far, so I'll be back in a bit. It's like a couple of days later, yeah. But, no, it's only one day later, but I just noticed that it's got a peel on the top. Didn't even notice. Yeah. There you go. Oh, I need to cut my nails, honestly. I can't grab it. It's just how you know my nails are cut. There we go. Woo, sorted. Didn't even notice that. Any more plastic? No, there won't be now. It's glossy plastic, which means it just gets horrible with fingerprints. Um, I need to get a new Ethernet cable for my PC because this one's got no clips on it, so it just falls out. And, like, I move it and it just falls out, and it's like, what the fuck's wrong with my internet on my PC? Oh, you know what? I'm going to switch it for one of them grey ones. So it's only a day after I've had this router, but I want to do the unbox. The not fucking unboxing the like review part of the video it is it is a very good router now when i bought it i thought it was going to be a used one since they stopped making these a few years ago no it's brand new when these first come out they're like 80 quid and now they're selling them brand new on ebay for 15 quid so for a network like mine that is i wouldn't make i probably wouldn't use this as like your main one in your house but what you could do is i'd say just have like two of these Run one connected to your main modem downstairs and then like run a power line adapter like I have and then just have another one in the back of your house or maybe on hardwired ethernet and then just have them as the same SSID and then it'll just roam around and connect to whichever one's closest. And in my case I just use it for my devices. Um, it's got a gigabit switch on it which one main, mainly the main reason I wanted to do it because when I got the new power line adapter I was thinking right well I've just connected the Wi-Fi downstairs because we should be getting a new one anyway soon. And then 
I'll just get a gigabit switch. A five port switch was like £12, these were 15 and this is a gigabit switch built into it. So I thought, right, well, I'll just get this and I'll get Wi Fi as well. So I've got my Xbox One X, which connects to this really like five meter pound band Ethernet cable. So it's Cat 5e gigabit one though. Goes down there into that cable management there and it goes under the radiator here with like a HDMI cable and then goes across to the Xbox. Let me know if you want to see like a more detailed video of like the uh, TV setup and if you want to see a network tour so it's a bit more professional than this. This is just like hand camera work in it. Um, but yeah, and then there's my PC on this grey cable and then this one connects it to the power line adapter under the desk and the root, that's where the root is plugged in as well. When I set this up, I had it down here. I decided to put it up here because I suppose it probably gives off better Wi-Fi reception. I don't know, probably. But one, they, as I mentioned, they do have apps for this, but obviously, because it's an old one, I think these come, in like tw come out in like 2014. They're not very up to date. The, um, the app just said it will probably works well, but I just did the web set up. Um, there's an app to manage it. Basically, all the apps haven't been updated since like the iPhone 5 came out. Because you know when like you'd open an app on like an iPhone 6 or 8 or something, and it was like zoomed in because it was designed for like an iPhone 5. It's like that, but on like an iPhone 11. So it's not been worked on in a while. The then two apps are the one to manage the network, and then the one which is the SharePort app, which is for this. To access all the files on there now with the app that it comes with you can add files to it all that sort of stuff but um i only really want to use this for films and that and obviously with it being iphone 5 like zoomed in the quality is not very good um i haven't found another app to do all the stuff that the original one does so i kept that as well if i want to put files from my phone onto here but for watching movies on it just download vlc and um yeah, just download VLC and then you can just access it from there and it works way better than the original app it comes with does. And then you keep the original app if you want to upload files from your phone to this. Now it is only USB 2.0, which means you um, it's not as fast as if it's had 3.0, but most routers only have 2.0 anyway. This is a 3.0 drive, but I don't know, maybe in the future I'll get like a WD MyCloud or Synology NAS and put my own drive in it or the f who knows this is good enough for now um maybe i'll get a raspberry pi or something and run it off that watch your films and music off this just get a vlc um it runs like a media server so you can watch the films and stuff on smart tvs like in your house it runs like a dma server or whatever it's called and i can access it on my xbox through the media player app and watch stuff like that or you can do it through like smart tvs using that as well so yeah, this is very good. My speed, I get the full speed of my internet through this, but that's only 30 megabytes anyway, which isn't that impressive. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys come back and watch the home network video. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye.